Hello, welcome to another video from EarnPed.com. I'm Stevie B. Happy to have you all with me as we are on Planet Sirene. In the video the other day, we did the ultimate hunting circuit for our ARC faction hunting daily missions. In that video, we actually stacked some other missions with our ARC faction daily hunting missions. One of those missions was Pix Pollen that we stacked with Direweed. And while we were stacking those, we also very near where we pick up Pix Pollen had a pin where we did the test of strength mission where we killed one level 17 Penelion. And when we do Pix Pollen and when we do that test of strength, which are both repeatable daily missions, we actually don't do anything related to the Arc Faction badges. What we get as a reward for those two are Cyrene mission tokens. And I said I would talk about those later, so I want to talk about Cyrene mission tokens today, what they're used for, and how we can transform low markup into high markup. So even if we don't use our Cyrene mission tokens, they can be very profitable and help us out with our gameplay. So the first thing I want to do is talk about how we can get them. Stay with me till the end of the video, and I will show you guys how to turn low markup into high markup. So there are a couple of one-time missions you can do that will give you a few Cyrene mission tokens. That's really not going to do a lot, but do those if you like. You can find the information about those on SireneDream.org under the one-time missions. But the way you're going to get your hands on these Cyrene mission tokens on a regular basis, this is what they look like right here, is by doing hand-in missions. Now, the stuff that we're going to be handing in, while it does vary, most of it is mining related. And we will be doing the mining video next. That will be the next video in the series. And what's unique about Cyrene is, unlike other planets, on Cyrene you do not want to refine most of your ores and end matters right away. On other planets, you refine your ores and end matters right away, and then you try and auction them off. That is not what you want to do on Cyrene. So save that refining cost, because a lot of these hand-in missions that we're going to do to get these Cyrene mission tokens, they require the raw inputs of ores and end matters as we get them out of the ground, and that means that we don't want to refine them. So let's go do a couple of these hand-in missions, get us some Cyrene mission tokens. I will tell you guys about the other hand-in missions, and then we'll go over how you can turn low markup into high markup. So I am actually here at the... I always forget which one this is. There's two of these teleporters that are named close to the same thing. This is Arc Immigration Tanhawk Teleporter. We're going to go right over to this tent over here. And the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to talk to Miner Bot. And we're going to click on the bottom dialog all the way through. Okay, so there's our mission. He wants five Zornstar ore. So this is the raw ore. This is not the ingot. This is the raw ore that we get out of the ground when we mine Zorn out of the ground. So he wants five. So we give him five of the raw, unrefined ore. This is why I say you don't want to refine your stuff that you mine on Cyrene. You want to keep it in its raw form. And we got Cyrene mission token as a reward. Right next to him, we've got a requisitions officer. We're going to talk to him. Again, we hit the bottom dialogue. Now, this time, he wants five Zornstar ingots. So this is one where it's one of the rare ones where you do have to give him the refined version. And he gives us Cyrene mission tokens as a reward. Now, there are others that you can do that you might not want to do. So there is a hand in mission where you can actually turn in scrap metal in exchange for Cyrene mission tokens. Personally, I do not like doing that one. And the reason I don't like doing that one is if you look at scrap metal, the markup on scrap metal is 400 to 450 percent. Now, the reason I say I don't like doing that one is because I have other uses for scrap metal. However, theoretically, if the markup on the Cyrene mission tokens is more than the markup on the scrap metal, all other things being the same, you probably should. So if you were going to do the scrap metal one, you would do it with one of these NPCs right here. But we're going to go past them and we're going to go into this little hut looking thing. Most of these hand-in missions, most of them, are quote-unquote dailies. They have a 21-hour cooldown period. 
So we're going to talk to the Zenkimbo Guardian. He wants 50 Zorn Star ore. Again, the regular unrefined material. So what we get out of the ground in its raw form without being refined. And he's going to give us Sirene Mission Tokens. And then we're going to talk to the Chieftain right here. Now, this is not a mission I'm going to do because this is not a hand-in mission, but if you're going for Sirene Mission Tokens, this is one you can do. He will give you 40 Sirene Mission Tokens if you kill 100 Zindos. So this is a hunting mission. Now, this mission has a 4-day cooldown, but it's a great way to get 40 Sirene Mission Tokens all at once. And the next time you have the Zimkimbo Guardian, who, if you will give him 20 Bonding Liquid will give you Sirene Mission Tokens. Now, Bonding Liquid is a crafted item. You cannot get the blueprint out of the trade terminal. You have to either buy it off auction, or you have to have it just drop in your loot. I actually ended up buying mine from another player. But the inputs for Bonding Liquid make it something that it can be potentially profitable to craft the Bonding Liquid, turn the Bonding Liquid into Sirene Mission Tokens, and sell the Sirene Mission Tokens. And then we're going to go do one more hand in real quick. Actually, you know what? We might do two. And then I'm going to run you through the ones that we're not doing. And then we will go over how you can turn low markup into high markup. But I want you guys to see what I'm turning in first. So we're at Arc HQ. And right here by the teleporter, we have Requisitions Officer Wilco. Again, we're going to want the very bottom dialogue, and he wants three blue crystals. Now, whenever we get to the mining video, you guys will find out that these crystals, like yellow, blue, stuff like that, that is actually an in matter, not an ore. So we're going to turn in three of the blue crystals, and we're going to get Sirene Mission Tokens. And then we're going to go do one more real quick, and that is going to be at Arc, sta arc Staging. And then I will run through them all with you guys very, very quickly and show you how to turn low markup into high markup. Now, whenever you guys see the mining video, whenever I talk about arc staging, this is where we're going to want to talk to our NPCs for a lot of our mining missions. So we're going to come over here and we're going to talk to another miner bot. He's going to want five yellow crystals. Again, we click on the bottom dialog all the way through. And then we give him five yellow crystals. So, just in the couple of hand-in missions that I've done in this video, I have ended up with 22 Sirene Mission Tokens. Now, again, these are used in crafting, and especially when we start doing the Arc Faction Badge daily crafting missions, we're going to have to have these as an input in each of those daily crafting missions. So for every attempt, we're going to need these. This is why they have such demand and such markup, is a lot of people don't want to take the time to go do these turn-in missions. A lot of people just want to do these crafting dailies we will get to later on in the series, and they need these Sirene mission tokens for that. So first of all, let me run through the rest of the list. Now, like I said, there's a few one-time missions. There's the Kill 100 Zindos that you can do every four days we talked about. But most of them are going to be through these hand-ins. So for the hand-ins... We can hand in the five yellow crystals that we just gave to MinerBot. That's a 21-hour cooldown. There's the five Zorn Star Ore, which we did, 21-hour cooldown. You can also turn in one Light Power Cell for one Sirene Mission Token, 21-hour cooldown. We did the three blue crystals for Wilco, one Sirene Mission Token, 21-hour cooldown. Now, you can also turn in five green crystals, which gives you three Sirene Mission Tokens, 21-hour cooldown. We turned in the five Zorn Star ingots, which gave us the three tokens, 21-hour cooldown. We could have turned in the five scrap metal. Like I said, personally, I choose not to do that one. It does have a 21-hour cooldown, and it gives you four Sirene Mission tokens, but that is a personal preference one because, again, that scrap metal has about a 450% markup. We can turn in five Kazanite ingots for six Sirene Mission tokens, 21-hour cooldown. We did the Bonding Liquid, which was 8 Sirene Mission Tokens. That has a 48-hour cooldown. And we can turn in the 40 Zorn Star Ore that we turned in for the 8 Sirene Mission Tokens. Also a 48-hour cooldown. There are, are other 
couple of ways, not many. There's a few that we will get to later, 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 later on in the series that are kind of novel ways you can get your hands on Cyrene mission tokens. But these turn-in missions, these are going to be the ones that you're going to do regularly along with that hunting 100 Zindos every four days for the 40 lump sum Cyrene mission tokens. Most people are just going to focus on the turn-in missions, as I do personally. Now, that being said, I will put the link to the sirenedream.org slash daily missions page in the description. You will be able to see under the turn-in missions everything I've just listed. But let's take a look at these Sirene mission tokens and let's look at the markup on these things. About 900% markup. And notice that they're worth one peck apiece. So very, very low TT value. But look at the demand. 24.74 ped of demand this week alone. 75.49 ped worth of demand this month alone. Pretty stable demand. Pretty stable markup. So these things are worth pretty right at about 900% markup. That's pretty reliable markup and why is that important because we want to turn low markup into high markup which i told you guys we would show you how to do so let's look at the stuff that we've actually turned in now remember this is the markup for the sirene mission token so let's just clip this right here so let's look at what we actually turned in so we turned in some raw zorn star ore that we got from mining markup about 103 percent not really great demand, all things considered. This is more or less TT food as far as I'm concerned. But yet we can take it and we can slowly, day by day, turn it in for Cyrene Mission Tokens, which have 900% markup and really good demand. Now, obviously, I've got far more Zornstar ore than I'm ever going to be able to convert into Mission Tokens, but I want to convert as much of it into Cyrene Mission Tokens as I possibly can because I'm turning something with not great demand and only 103% markup into something with great demand and 900% markup. That is amazing. We did the same thing with our Zornstar ingot, the refined version. About 106-107% markup on that one because you've got the added refining cost. But again, not really the best of demand. That's really poor demand for a basic ore on a basic planet. If this was Listerium, you would see, you know, 100,000 ped worth of demand every couple of days, if not every single day. So to only have 158 ped worth of demand this week, I've got probably 900 ped of this particular ore that I could convert into this particular ingot sitting in my storage right now. And that's just me. So I've got far more supply in my storage than there is demand in the entire game. So to be able to take this and slowly convert it into these Cyrene Mission Tokens that have this 900% markup, that's amazing. Well, what about those blue crystals? Let's look at those. Because remember, we turned in three of those. Um, practically no markup. Somebody got 20 pedworth for TT value. If there is markup, it's about 110%. About 51 ped worth of demand this week, about 71 ped this month. Again, not the best of demand when it comes for an end matter. But yet I can take this 105, 110% markup low demand item and I can convert it into a much higher demand 900% markup. So that's why I like doing these hand emissions. Same thing is true for these yellow crystals that we turned in. Again, about 103 to 105% markup pretty religiously. A little bit better demand for the yellow crystals because they can be used in more things. We'll get to that in later videos. They're used in a lot of crafting here on Cyrene. So a little bit more demand. But again, why when I can slowly convert them into 900% markup? Now, obviously, I can't just take all my Zorn Star Ore and all my blue crystals and all my yellow crystals and just convert them right away. I'm limited by the fact that there's only so many of these hand-in missions and they have this cooldown period. But I want to convert as much of it as I can into these Cyrene mission tokens because, A, personally, I'm going to use these in my crafting. But if I decide not to use them in my crafting, guess what I'm going to do? Yep, I'm going to sell them and get that 900% markup. You're absolutely correct. So that is why we want to focus on these Cyrene mission token hand-in missions while we're here on Cyrene. It allows us to take our low markup, low demand loot and convert it into much higher demand, much higher markup loot. Now remember I said the scrap metal personally I don't turn in because the scrap metal has very high demand 
and the scrap metal already has 450% markup, and personally, I've got other uses for it. However, if you really wanted to, you could turn it in to Cyrene Mission Tokens, and you would still be doubling your markup on it. So, it's got great markup just as the raw material scrap metal. However, if you really wanted to, you could double it from 450 to 900% by converting it to Cyrene Mission Tokens. Personally, I choose not to. So, that being said, in the next video, we will go over some more stuff about mining, specifically some mining missions, some places you may want to check out mining here on Cyrene, some special things about mining that are unique to Cyrene, and we will also talk about some very rare ores and end matters that you can only find on Cyrene that could help you be even more fashionable later on. There is one in particular that I'm really excited about because I looked for it for a long time to even figure out what it was. So that being said, the next video is going to be about mining. And then after that, we will get into the crafting, the arc faction, crafting dailies, the special things about blueprints and crafting here on Cyrene. And then we will be branching out from there. So I'm going to leave it there for today. Sip, sip, smack, smack. Y'all know the rest. Head over to earnpad.com because when you earn, we earn. It's by far the best way you guys can help support us. Simply use the links on earnpad.com to go to hideout.tv. Hideout will automatically add us as a redemption option for your hideout points. Guys, please do as the banner says at the bottom of the screen. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell icon. That keeps you up to date on all the newest information going on in Entropia, events, changes in game, all the newest content we put out, everything we cover. Guys, also, please be sure and hit that like button on every single video. It really helps us combat the haters and the trolls that are out there. And it never fails to amaze me that the moment I upload a video, like, it instantly gets a dislike. Because there are so many haters out there just waiting to rag on us that it just cannot help but just troll us. So every single like matters. It really means a lot to us. And it helps us get more exposure. And that brings me to my big point. You guys deserve to know the impact you're making. By hitting subscribe, by hitting the bell icon, by hitting the like button, YouTube starts putting us in front of more people. It gives us more exposure. And those people are starting to email us saying, hey, I was messing around on YouTube. I'm into MMOs and real cash economy games and PC games. And I never even heard of Entropy, but I saw one of your videos pop up. I watched the video. Then I watched the channel. Now this is my hobby. Now it's my passion. Now this is the game that I love and want to share with the world. I've already been to Icarus and North Swamp Camp. Let me tell you about all the places I've been. And I'm even trying to prep for my first mayhem. So would you please tell your viewers thank you. Because they hit those buttons. This video got shared. I saw it. And now this is a huge part of my life. So they're having a real impact on the game. And helping to grow the player base, the community, the economy. And to share this passion with others. Just by hitting like. Just by hitting subscribe. Would you please tell them that. So guys, I want you guys to know that you're having that impact because you deserve to know that. You guys are doing that, not me. So guys, I hope you're enjoying the Siren video series. We're taking it step by step. Like I said, the next step will be mining, and then we will get into some crafting after that and then expand out. There are some great epic mission chains you guys are going to want to check out. There's several that I'm working on right now. I cannot wait to show you guys all the things that Siren has to offer which is why we're taking it in these bite-sized chunks. So stay tuned. You're going to want to see the next video, especially if you've never really liked mining before because Siren has totally reignited my love for mining all over again. I love it. It's what I do at least half the time now. So guys, I'll leave it there for today. Sip, sip, smack, smack. Y'all know the rest. We have more coming for you later this week. Take care, Stevies.